was a crypto muscle. Oh yeah, fake lasers. Oh yeah, Ricochet. Coming to you with another YouTube video and you know, it's been a while since we've talked about anything with the Q in it, right? And we all know where that was, right? The last time we talked about the Q. Well, here's something else that uh, was connected to that, and it is Q Chain, all right? So, before I begin, international renown, and I'm the worldwide phenomenon, the most electrifying YouTuber there is today, because I am. Coming to you in a bit. All right, so here we go. Just had to throw that little piece in there, intro. So, Q Chain, all right? It's been a while since we talked about anything in regards to this particular token and why am I connect talking about it? All right. Well, Q chain, um, derived from, and uh, I don't care what they say. All right. They derive from Cuba life. All right. Cuba tech, Cuba life. They gave you the options to buy into the token. You bought into the tokens. And well, even if you didn't, you had the chance to convert your earnings to education store, the tokens, or venture, all right? And with that, if you were able to do anything besides, you know, you could buy it or convert to uh, QDT tokens, uh, that's how you would get into QChain, all right? And then QChain separated itself from Cuba Life. Cuba Life crashed and burned, and now they're the education store. And so with QChain, they said that they were going to continue on as its own thing. So it's almost like they spun off and out of Cuba Life. And this is kind of like the next, in a sense, iteration of what was, right? And if you spent your <laughs> remaining amount into other aspects of Cuba Life, such as the education store and the venture, then you got shit out of luck on that. <laughs> Whereas uh, if you were to put it into here, Q chain with the QDT tokens, then you lucked out. And then they gave you a deadline to be able to move those tokens out of Cuba Life into Q chain. And if you didn't do that in time, then you might be shit out of luck on that one as well. And so with that, um, that's where we're at. So here's Q chain. I was able to move it when that time came when they said you got to move it or lose it I moved it so they gave you dollar for dollar so if you had let's just say what I had I had about sixty thousand dollars in balance all right remaining and I put most of it I think I put ten thousand into venture program ten thousand into education store and then the rest of it into uh, Q chain or the QDT tokens and with that um, once it was time to move it, I moved it. And that's why it's now QChain. So QChain is the blockchain power productive platform. Um, they are imminently launching real soon. We don't know when yet, but it's imminent. So you can see how there's still some of the stuff, you know, like the graphics and all that are kind of similar, right? But they've, um, trying to push and separate themselves away from it completely. So right now, the current value of these QDC tokens is three and a half cents. So it is what it is. So uh, that's where it's at on this. And you can see how a lot of it derived from Cuba Life, right? Q, Q token, Magic Lotto, Q swap, Q staking. Um, I don't know if I had anything in Magic Lotto. I wanted to look into that. And they have a lot of other aspects to this, right? That's coming, if not already here. Q Chain Place, X Game Chain, Q Storage, Q Dex, Power Smart, QTI, right? A lot of these things were part of the venture program. And what they did was they kind of just, the venture program kind of just became part of Q Chain. And that's what it is, right? All these things were all connected to the Q, uh, Cube Alive now that's part of Q Chain. So that's where it's at on this. Um, here's some of the people that are 
uh, behind the platform right now. All right. And you can see some of the things that they were looking at. All right. They launched the QDT service token of QChain. It's all crossed out. That means that they've launched this stuff. And what's coming? Let's see here. Fourth quarter, QSwap service, launching the exchange for selling and buying goods. QChain Place, launching of the exchange, QDEX. That's all imminent, though. Um, from what I've been seeing right now, it's all imminent. Uh, launching QTI, the service to track current situation on the crypto market. Launching Web Wallet. Completed works on development of iOS Node. Launching QSmarts. Anything else? Let's see here. Second quarter. So they got all this stuff going on. Again, every time you look at these things, these are ballpark times. Doesn't mean it's going to come boom right then and there. I mean, this is just what's planned and what they're trying to come out with. So, all right, we have all that. And now let's take a look in the back office. All right. So in the back office, I converted, you know, I brought over a portion here to uh, 32,000 and they were doing it dollar per dollar, right? So, or one token per dollar. And so I, like I said, I, I put in 10 ish into the venture program and 10 ish into the education store and remaining amount of here. So maybe I put a little bit more into the venture program. I know I didn't put much into the education store and I was a waste. <laughs> And so, um, yeah, the remaining amount put into here. But if I knew, if I could, could have foresaw the future of where to put the remaining amount, I would have put it all here, all into the Q-Chain, QDT token. But it's all right. But I, at least I made it over here. So that's the whole idea of it. They have at very active telegram groups, right? Working with people all the time. Uh, Q chain community. Hey, look, would you look at that? There's a Queen Wiki appearance. Uh, according to her, she moved a bunch of uh, tokens over as well. I believe. Yeah, she she mentioned that she moved a bunch of her tokens over, most of what she could over. So, so she got it working, backed up private key, and imported and hold QDT. I'm ready for 2022. Yeah, so, wow. More than 1 million QDT. That's crazy. Yeah, because she said she brought in pre-sale, bought more in the public sale, and uh, lost a lot of them because she missed the import deadline. See, he told you, the import deadline. Yeah, once you uh, missed out on the deadline, then, yeah, you're, you're not going to be able to get that. So... Uh, you know, for us, you know, like myself and her, um, you know, we're trying to get what we can out of it. And I mean, that's just essentially what it is uh, with these QDT tokens. You know, we don't know what may come out of this, right? So check this out. Breaking news. QChain integration with the Polkadot ecosystem. All right. Pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of people are trying to get uh, projects and stuff tied to the polka dot network i guess that's like the next thing right now right you know everybody's kind of seeing enough of the binance smart chain so they're moving on to things like polka dot um what was that other one uh eureka is kind of doing something similar right trying to eye different sort of uh networks and um but eureka's trash though so yeah then you know they're 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 working on stuff all the time according to the you know people behind the Q chain community here um stuff is being worked on all the time and the launch of this as a whole as a platform uh you know for all that stuff um is imminent um they're just kind of taking their time with it and you know all we got to do is kind of just watch the development as it comes right so here's Andre Zativ. Uh, you know, we saw him. He's the CEO on the cover there on the front page. So, you know, he's active. And, 
Yeah, they're doing some testing behind the scenes. And things are happening, but the point of it is, is that, you know, they haven't gone anywhere. And they are just kind of taking their time with it. And then when it's ready, they're going to launch this whole thing, the exchange and everything else behind it. So, again, we're going to see... Um, you know, what's going to come out of all this. And I'm just looking to unload it when I have that opportunity. <laughs> I mean, that's just being straight up with you guys. So here's Andre Zativ. Zat Ziv. Uh, Q chain update there. 50,000 nodes registered on the Q chain network. And 3 million transactions on the Q chain network. So things are moving, things are hustling and bustling. And I just wanted to show you guys that it's around and, you know, I, I just haven't really talked about it much because they haven't really launched anything as of right now. But doesn't mean they've really gone anywhere and that's where it's at right now. So they've already done their pre-sale a long time ago. That stuff's all done with when it comes to like these ICOs and IDOs and all that. That's kind of like a thing in crypto right now. And so, I haven't really shared a link either. I mean, you see how there's a link here, but I haven't shared it. Because um, I, I really don't know what to make of it. And that's just being honest with you guys. So, uh, I was just kind of following whatever path that Cuba Life set me forward to. And this is the path right now. And I'm trying to see what I could get out of this when that time comes. So, um, that's where I'm at with it. And, you know, the stuff is developing over time. Let me see if I can find their announcement group because it's just talking about stuff behind the scenes. Yeah, and then they're helping out with uh, troubleshooting stuff with some of the people. So, yeah, that's all they're doing in this Q-Chain community. But there is also an announcement group as well. And they're pretty more much more straightforward with that in terms of stuff but other than that I mean um, they said they, they're going to be launching on multiple exchanges pretty soon that's one of the things they talked about um, and that's where we really stand right now the apps are in development they're working on it so I just wanted to just share you guys the latest update since we haven't really seen it in a while here's QChain News that's what I'm talking about so are you waiting for the launch of QDEX? So that's the exchange, right? Polkadot network. By the end of Q2, they're planning to do a complete integration process with the Polkadot network and provide members of the giant ecosystem with access to the capabilities of QChain. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that's the newest announcement there. Okay, I, I read Polkadot, but I didn't know they went that deep with Polkadot. So... Looking like they're uh, doing an integration and becoming a parachain into the Polkadot ecosystem. So, all current and future products of the projects will be built on the QChain platform and will be available to all members in the Polkadot network. Okay, interesting. So, that's big news. But, uh, yeah, so everything else along with that, right? Um, yeah, they talk about how QDEX is high level security. And when they launch their own decentralized exchange, it's going to have no KYC and no f high fees. And of course, they're all going to charge fees, but no high fees, they're saying. So, yeah, web wallet, they got that going on. So, yeah, a lot of stuff. Everything's still in development, but that's the biggest news right here, breaking news with Polkadot. So check that out. Um, but I'll keep you guys in the loop as things come, um, as they continue to develop, especially when that time of launch is going to come. I'll definitely let you guys know on that if you guys still have anything of this, right? Or if you're interested in this kind of thing. So... Other than that, comment down below. Let me know what you think about Q Chain and the QDT token. Do you still have any QDT tokens? Were you able to import it over in time? And so, other than that, I'll see you in the next one.